mudaf mudaf lehi, brothers and sisters, uh, can come as a in the front or come a, in the back. Uh, but we are only interested if if we are going to find out about the khabar, then we are only interested in mudaf. And it is mudaf mudaf lehi comes as a in the front. Then muktada is only mudaf. Uh, we are going to do all these things. Number seven is like that. Let us have a break, have a little tea and some snacks, and recharge our batteries, and then inshallah we will. Uh. Now we uh, back. Our batteries are recharged. We had a nice baklava and some hot tea. Okay. Sister Salma asked me, so far what we have learned, how many kinds of khabar are there? The khabar can be one word. What did I say? One word. And if the khabar is one word, it is always marfu. Muftada hmm? is always marfu. Khabar, if it is one word, is always marfu. And fa'il is always marfu. Fa'il is always marfu. Now, the second type of khabar is that it can be jar majroor. There is a harf jar followed by ism which is majroor because of harf jar. So in short we call it jarun wa majroorun. Further short, jar majroor. Huh? If I say jar majroor, it means jarun wa majroorun. It means there is a harf jar. And there is a noun after it, which is majroor. Fine, brother? The third khabar is that there is a zarf. What is it? Zarf. Followed by mudafilehi. Okay? So if I say jar majroor khabar, then I have to say jar majroor shibbu jumla khabar. What is shibbu jumla? Remember I wrote it down last time? Shibhu jumlati. Okay? Good. We will again write down. Brother, what kind of a compound is this? Shibu mudaf mudaf ilahi. See, mudaf mudaf ilahi. Shibu jumlati. Mudaf mudaf Okay. So, then we will say shibu jumlati. Now, if it is a zarf coming as a, you know, in place of a khabar, then we say zarf, shibu jumla, khabar, and then mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? Muhammadun. Huh? Okay, Al Usfuru, what is Al Usfuru? Chidya, a bird. Fauka Shajarati. What did I say? Al Usfuru, Fauka Shajarati. Where is Muptada? Al Usfuru. Because it is definite, it is in the beginning, okay, and it is Marfu. What is Fauka? Zarf. Zarf. Shibujumla Khabar. And there is what is Shajarati? Mudafilehi. Khalas. Uh, inshallah. And we will be repeating it every single day. And within a few days, you will all be saying it correctly. And inshallah, thinking fast. Okay. Arabic alphabet has got 29 letters. Out of that, 28 are consonants. They have a speech sound. One, uh, one has no speech sound. One letter. And what is the first letter? Alif. It has no speech sound. If you say this is a, then it means there is a hamza on it. Okay. Now there are two kinds of hamza. Huh? How many kinds of hamza? Two kinds of hamza. Okay. Hamza tul, hamza tul vasli. Again, same thing, brother. Muda muda filehi. Hamza tul vasli. Hamza tul hamza. Hamza, Hamza, Tul, Vasli. Huh? Hamza of assimilation. And then what is the next one, brother? Hamza, Hamza, Tul, Qat. 
Now, when you have Hamzatul Khata, brother, you will always have a sign of Hamza somewhere. Huh? Either it will be Aleph, or it will be Waw, or it will be Ya. Because Aleph, Waw, and Ya are the chairs for Hamza. What are they? Chairs for Hamza. Okay. Now, when you have Hamzatul Kata, it will be written with a Ain. Huh? Okay. On something. Sometimes Hamza can come on its own. Huh? Okay. But if it is Hamzatul Wasal, we do not put sign. We just leave it like that. Are you with me? We don't put sign. We leave it like that. Okay. This is the difference between the, the Mus'haf Quran, which are printed in India, and which are printed in Middle East. But the, the Quran from, we have Quran from Syria in our store. They are most accurate. Because they differentiate between Hamzatul Qata and Hamzatul Wasat. But Quran from India, they don't differentiate this. Sometimes you can make a mistake. Sometimes it can be confusing. Okay. Now, coming back to what is this, brother? What is this? Al. I will. We will never write Al like this. Why? Because this is Hamzatul Wasal. Why? Because it is Hamzatul Wasal. So whenever there is a Hamzatul Wasal, we just leave it alone. Okay, brother. What is Hamzatul Wasal? If it comes in the beginning of a sentence, you pronounce it. If it is somewhere else in the sentence or anything comes in the front of it, you will not pronounce it. For example, brother, if I write down, Al Kitabu Jadidun. What is it? Al Kitabu Jadidun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al Kitabu Jadidun. Did I put anything on Hamza? No. Why? Because it is Hamzatul Wasal. Now I put. How will you pronounce now? Well, what happened? You, why did you not pronounce Hamza? Because it is Hamza to Wasal, and something came in the front, we did not. Now, in order, in, in the Quran that are coming from uh, Middle East, in order to make it 100% clear that this is Hamza to Wasal, they put a little swath on it. That is the sign of it, that it is Hamza to Wasal. Are you with me? So there are about uh, there are about nine or so words, uh, maybe more, maybe less, brothers and sisters, in which there is a hamzatul wasal. The first noun is this. What is it, brother? Ismun. What is it? Ismun. See nothing on hamza. Why? Is it Hamzatul Wasal? Are you with me? It's Hamzatul Wasal. Are you with me? Now, sometimes if you want that somebody should not make a mistake and she, that person should read Ism, then we just put a Kasra. Because it is Hamzatul Wasal, only Kasra. But we know that if you see this, it is Ism. Now, what is this, brother? We know that word properly with proper vowel sign. I do not have to put anything on Hamza. Uh, it is Ibnu. I will never say Abnu, Ubnu. It is always Ibnu. Ibn. Always Ism. Huh? But suppose if I put here, here Wow, what will it become? Wabnu. It will become Wabnu. Huh? Okay, and then I can put here that sign to say that it's, it's to be assimilated. Ana uh, 
What did I write, brother? Ana, Ana ibnu Muhammadin. Ana Muftada. Where is Khabar? Ibnu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf, ilahi. Sahi. But how will I pronounce? Anabnu. How will you say? Anabnu. Anabnu I'll pronounce. Okay. Why? Why? Because you are all very smart. Very strong and mashallah, uh, you know, have some background. Brother, Ana, look at Ana. Huh? You have noon with Fata. And what is after noon? Alif. What is on Alif? Sukun. Huh? Remember, Sister Manas, we learned that there are three vowel signs in Arabic language. Dhamma. Fatha and Kasra. If there is no vowel sign on the letter of Arabic alphabet, then automatically there is a sukun on it. So, where is the Fatha here? Uh, do you see, did you see how I write Ana? I put a proper Hamza there. Why? It's Hamzatul Kata. I have to pronounce it. No matter where it comes. Even if there is a vow here, I will say wa ana. Why? It is Hamdatul Kata. Okay? So wa, then Hamza with Fata, and then Noon with Fata, and then Alif. There is nothing on Alif. So what is on Alif then? Sukun. So brother, Sukun here. Huh? Okay? And then Sukun here. Remember? And this is Hamdatul Wasal. Uh, so I cannot pronounce two sukuns. Then I have to skip this in my pronunciation. Only in my pronunciation. So what did I say? A nabnu. A nabnu. The reason that I did not pronounce alif. See, Arabic is so logical, brother. Scientific. Uh, brother Hassan, it was just a fleeting thought. It came in my mind to explain this. But don't worry. It is... And our Muftada Ibnu Khabar Wahua Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. Got the idea, brother? So, whenever you will see Hamzatul Wasal coming in the beginning, even if there is a no vowel sign, but we know it is Ibnu or Ism. Huh? Ibnu or Ism. Okay? So, look at it, number seven, brother. Look at it. At number seven. What is number seven? How will you pronounce? Ibn Ammarin Talibun. Oh, very good. Is it Jumla Ismiya or Jumla Failia? Jumla Ismiya. There is no fail there. Huh? Okay, fine. Huh? Where is Mubtada? Only Ibn, brother. Wahua huh? Mudaf. And what is Ammarin? Mudafilahi. Where is the khabar? Talibun. And then waw is a ataf. And how will you pronounce? Wabnu. So what is the next ibnu? Muftada. Wahua mudaf. And then yasi rin. Wabnu yasi rin. Mudafilahi. What is next one? Tajirun. Khabar. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. You got the idea? This is what is Hamzatul Wasal is. Huh? When to pronounce and when not to pronounce. If it is in the beginning of the sentence, we pronounce. It comes in the middle, we don't pronounce. Next, next uh, line, brother. How will you pronounce? You, there are no vowel signs. Baitul Mudar Rishi. So now you see, your mind says that this compound is Mudar Mudafilehi. Baitul Mudarrisi. Where is Muftada? Baitul. Wa huwa Mudaf. And Mudarrisi? Mudaf ilahi. What is the khabar? Baidun. One word. Are you with me? One word. It is marfu. If it is one word, it will be marfu. Okay? Fine. Then waw is ataf. What is the next word? Baitul Tajari. What is, where is Muftada? Baitul. Wa huwa Mudaf. A Tajari. Mudaf ilahi. And, and what is, where is the khabar? Kareebun. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. 
has a put a line there. Huh? And, and sister uh, Salma, you could put even a line, Ibn Ammarin line, you know, just a thin line, huh? and Wabnu Yashirin line. Huh? So Tajirun is your khabar. Baitul Mudarrisi line on after Mudarrisi. Huh? And then Baitul Tajiri line after Tajiri. So you separate it, Mubtada Khabar. Just for the sake of ease, you know. Okay. Haza put a line. Haza Mubtada. Where is the Khabar? Miftahu. Huwa Huwa Mudaf. And Sayarati Mudaf ilahi. This is key of car. Very good. Aina. No, we do not analyze question, question mark. Question. Till we are in book, middle of book three. Huh? Because otherwise it will become extremely confusing and difficult. As it is, brothers and sisters, I am taking this bold step of showing you all these things which sometimes the teachers doesn't show. But I felt in my heart, and I always felt, that if we can slowly, slowly understand the analysis in a simple way, huh? simple way, you will become so strong later on, brother, that you will be laughing. Huh? You will be laughing that you have this understanding. When we go in book three, I give you an example. I, I just give you an example. Huh? Here is an example. Haza. What is Haza? This is just an example. Huh? And trust me, brothers and sisters, in book three, you will love to do this. Huh? Right now, we do not have to do it. Huh? When I explain this, I always lock the doors so that nobody runs away. <laughs> okay? Haza! Okay? Look, I'm only saying slowly, slowly. Huh? Haza. Ismu ishara. What did I say? Mabniyun. Huh? Fixed. Because haza is fixed. It has no other uniform. Only one uniform. I told you last time. Haza. Ismu ishara. Mabniyun. Means it's fixed. When it is fixed, we go to the last vowel sign. What is it? We go to the last sign. What is the last sign on haza? Sukkot. See? It's sukkot. <laughs> it's mabniyun ala sukun. It's built with having a sukun at the end. Then I say, pi mahalli rafa'in. In the place of uh, marfu. Because instead of haza, if it was Muhammad, we would have said, Muhammad dun. So it is a place of marfu. Huh? Then I will say, muqtada. No, this you do when you are writing your MA exam. Are you with me? <laughs> huh? Then you analyze it in detail. Huh? We don't have to do it. Right now, what is Raza? Muqtada. That is good enough for us. That is beautiful for us to understand. But in book 3, you will have so much knowledge and vocabs in your hand that what I said you will be able to write it yourself. Huh? What did I say? I'll repeat one more time. I allow you to let it enter from here and go out from there <laughs> so that you don't get confused. Haza ismu ishara. Ismu ishara. Mabniyun ala sukun. Okay. Fi mahalli rafa'in muqtada. Okay. Now if I say ana, how will I define ana? <clears throat> what is ana? Damirun. What kind of a damir is? Munfasilun. Remember? Detached pronoun? Did I, do you remember? Huh? Damirun. Munfasilun. Mabniyun ala? Sukun. Fi mahalli rafa'in muqtada. But we don't say that. What we say now? Ana? Muqtada. Khalas. That's good enough. We are in book one. Huh? Abhi Delhi dur hai. Huh? When we reach there, we will be very strong by that time. So you should not worry. This is just 
an explanation I'll, uh, I gave you, brother. It, it's very beautiful. I have students, you know, when I say do not go in detail, they say, no, we want to go in detail now. Right? Because they love to go in detail and write all these things. Anyway, okay, brothers and sisters, where are we now? Number nine. What is number nine? Haza miftahu sayarati. Aina miftahul baiti. Where is the key of the house? Okay, here is a nice sentence and I want you to just translate it. How will you read it, brother? Man anta ya waladu. Who are you, oh boy? Are you with me? Man anta ya waladu. What is the answer? Anabnu Abba Sin. I am son of Abbas. Are you with me? Okay, fine, brother. What is Ana? Muftada. Huh? Ibnu. What is Ibnu? Khabar. Wahua? Muda. And then? Muda Are you with me? Simple. Okay. Now, what is the next sentence? Wabnu Manhua. Translate. No, he, he. Whose son is he? Uh, he's not in front of us. Far. So I am asking you. Wabnu man hu Whose son of he is? You know, what is the answer? Wabnu Khalidin. Okay, brother, analyze now. Not questions. Statement. Huwa Mubtida. Where is the khabar? Ibnu. What is Ibnu? Muda. After Muda, Muda. MashaAllah. Are you getting there, brother? Salman? Inshallah. Brother, trust me. You will become very strong. Huh? And I go slowly. I take extra pain and, and I make efforts to show you in the simplest possible way. Huh? Simplest <laughs> possible way. And then slowly, slowly, if you are regular and if you are working at home, huh? okay, then inshallah, uh, you will master it. You will master it and you will be very successful, inshallah. Okay. Because when we study Quran, these are the things in the Quran. And we do not want to go to translation. We want to go and understand in Arabic. Huh? We want our mind and our heart to feel it and, and understand in Arabic, inshallah. Aina masjidu Rasulullah. Okay. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, brother. Okay. What is the translation? Where is the masjid of the Prophet of Allah? Uh, okay. I only want you to look at it. Masjid do. There is, put a dhamma there so you don't get confused. So, okay, brother. Masjid do. What is masjid do? Mudaf. Is it mudaf? Huh? Is it mudaf? No, we, because it's a question, Sister Manas, we will not analyze. Huh? But I just want you to understand, okay? Mas Jidu Rasul Lahi. Okay, this is, there is a chain of Mudaf Mudafilehi. What is Masjidu? Mudaf. Where is Mudafilehi? Uh, and then what is this? So what will you say? Mudaf mudafilehi and then Mudaf mudafilehi. So someone is playing double role. Huh? Someone is playing two roles. So I will say Masjidu Mudaf Rasuli Mudafilehi Wahuwa Mudaf. It became Mudafilehi and turned around and they said I am Mudaf also. And then Allah he became mudafilay. Now, you know, I can give you a sentence with ten mudaf and mudafilay. That's not normal. But so, for the sake of fun, tomorrow I'll write a sentence. It will cover the whole board. And it will say mudaf, mudafilay, mudaf, mudafilay, mudaf, mudafilay. You know, just by using OF off, huh? inshallah. So, in other words, there can be a chain of mudaf, mudafilehi. Fine. It will. It comes in the Quran, brother. Okay. What is the answer? Who? Uh, 
Badinatil Munavati. Huh? Okay, brother, what is Huwa? Mubtada. Uh, what is uh, Fi Harfcha? Al Madinati Isim Majroor. Okay? So Fil Madinati Jar Majroor Shibujumla Khabar. What is it? Jar Majroor Shibujumla Khabar. Brothers and sisters, hand out page number 23. Look at the handout, page 23. Now, we have given you four pages of simple analysis. Sister Mayanas, you will see all that we are doing now written there. It will say Shibu Jumla, Jar Majroor, all these things it will say. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Try to read through it and see how much you can understand. But I think by lesson number nine, you should be able to understand everything. Inshallah. Are you with me, brother and sister? So keep that there. You have in your hands, brother. So sometimes at home, you can go through it. Just go through the first page. Don't go too far. Inshallah, we'll do it. Okay. So what is Munawarati, brother and sisters? Don't answer, I will tell you. It is an adjective. Huh? We have not studied. Huh? What is it? It's an adjective. We have not studied. So when we come to lesson number nine, you will, we will study adjectives, inshallah. Okay, brother and sisters, here is a sentence. How can you read this? No vowel signs. Tell me, brothers and sisters. Bintu. Hamidin, mashallah. Did you get, you, your guess was correct. You know, you, re, you, know, you, you understood it properly. Okay, bin to Hamidin. I, is it Jumla Ishmiya failure? Filahi? And where is the khabar? Fil madrasati. What is fil madrasati? Jarun wa majrurun shibu jumla khabar. Got the idea? Inshallah. Huh? Remember, khabar can be one word and then it is marfu. Khabar can be jar majroor and we say shibu jumla. And khabar can be zarf shibu jumla and followed by mudafili. Inshallah. Fine, brother. Bintu afilma. Wa ataf. What is the next word? Bintu Muhammad din. Bintu Muhammad din. Okay, fine. So Bintu again Mubtada. Wuhu Mudaf. Muhammadin Mudaf Lehi. And where is the Khabar? Fil Jamiyati. What is Fil Jamiyati? Brother Abdul Qadir. Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Okay, very good, brother. Okay, see, now Isam came. Do you see any Hamza there? No. No. Why? Because it is Hamzatul Vasal. Huh? So, Ismul Mudarrisi. Huh? Sa'idun. What is the translation? Is Sa'id. Masha, you see, you can translate also. Now we analyze. Where, is it Jumla Ismiya, Jumla Failia? Jumla Ismiya. Where is Mubtada? Ismu only. Wahua Mudaf. And then? Mudaf Ilahi. And where is the khabar? Sa'idun. And then ataf came. Wow. How will you pronounce now? Wasmu. What do you, how will you pronounce? Wasmu. Muhandisi. Khalidun. Okay, brother. Where is Mubtada? Ismu. Wahua Mudaf. And Muhandisi? Mudaf Ilahi. And Khalidun? Khabar. Excellent, brother. Okay, brother. Am Muttalibi. What is it? Ammuttalibi. Ghaniyun. Okay, somebody is very rich. Huh? Ammuttalibi. How will you translate? Uncle of the Talib. Where is Mubtada? Ammu. Wahuwa Mudaf. And then Mudaf ilahi. Ammu Talibi. And where is the Khabar? Ghaniyun. Okay. Ammu, brother and sister. Ammu is father's brother. And, and uh, mother's brother is Khalu. Khalu. Mother's brother is Khalu. So we have it upside down. Yeah, yeah. This is Arabic. No, this is Arabic. 
because he, your mother brother Mamu. Yes. In India, Pakistan, it is all Mamu. Yeah. But in Arabic, it is Khalu. And the um, mother, the fourth one explanation, the mother, sister, husband is called Khalu. <laughs> Not in Arabic. <laughs> huh? no, that went upside down somewhere. Somebody, huh? so, somebody changed the role there. <laughs> okay, let's understand properly. Ammu, father's brother. Khalu, mother's brother. That's it. Huh? Mother's brother. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. So, Khalu Hamidin. Fakhirun. Ghaniyun, what is the opposite of Ghaniyun? Fakhirun. Number 16. Okay. We go to number 16 now, brothers and sisters. Babul Masjidi Maftuhun. Where is the Muftada? Babu. Wahua Mudaf? Mudaf ilayhi. And then Maftuhun is? Khabar. Fine. And Wa Ataf? Babu. Muftada. Madrasati? Mudafilehi, huh? Mughlakun. Khabar. This is a new vocab. Maftuhun, open. What is closed? Mughlakun. Mughlakun. Huh? Remember, Mughlakun means closed. Okay. Then Khalu Hamidin, Fakirun. Khalu Hamidin, Fakirun. Khalu is your Mubtida. Wahua Mudaf. Huh? Hamidin, Mudafilehi. And then Fakirun Khabar. Very good. Sayyaratu Abbasin. Okay. Where is Muftida? Sayyaratu. Wahua Mudaf. And where is Mudaf ilayhi? Abbasin. Where is the Khabar? Fishari. Fishari. Okay. What is Fishari? Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Got the idea? In the street. Shari is a street. Father, since you came this morning, we have been studying for a little over two years. Do you feel more confident now? Huh? Do you feel confident now, inshallah, through this sentence? Inshallah, tomorrow you will become even more confident. Why huh? do you say fish shari, not ala shari? <coughs> no, in the street. This. Not on the street. No, no. no. In the street. You can translate it. Different way, but fee is in the street. Huh? It's in the street. Huh? Okay. Next one, brothers and sisters. I really want to finish this lesson, if possible. We have uh, 11 minutes. Ibn Man Anta. Whose son are you? So, brother, circle Ibn Man. When I say circle Ibn Man, what is it, brothers and sisters? But the Farooq, what is Ibn Uman? Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi, mashallah. Where is Mudaf? Ibn. Where is Mudaf ilayhi? Man. Okay. Ibn Uman anta. What is the answer? Anabnul mudarrisi. Where is Mubtada? Ana. What is, where is the khabar? Ibn. Wa huwa Mudaf. And Mudarrisi? Mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea? Tika. Ainal Kalbu, where is the dog? What is the answer? Huwa Tahta Sayarati. Translate, brothers and sisters. He is under the car. Okay, now we analyze. Huwa Muftada. What is? No, there is no Muda. Huwa Muftada. And then what is Tahta? Zarf. Shibu Jumla? Khabar. And then what is Sayarati? Mudafilehi. Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good. Kawin Jumla, Jumlan, Mufidatan, Bi Malail Firag, Fimayali. Make the sentence, useful sentences, by filling the blanks. Okay? What follows? Okay. Brother, it is Baiti, and it is Mughlakun. What is, what is the word missing? Babul Baiti. Are you with me? So, Muftada is Babul Baiti. Sister Salma, you felt it? Babul Baiti? Inshallah. Sister Fatima? Inshallah. Aina? 
Aina Miftahu Sayyara T. There is car's key. Okay. Next one, brother. Muhammadun Rasulul Lahi. Very good, brother. Tabibi Baidun. Baitut Tabibi Baidun. Very good. You got it, right? Al Quranu Kitabullahi. Very good, brother. Khadija to Bintu Hamidin. Khadija is the daughter of Hamid. Very good. Ana Anabnul Mudarrisi. I am son of Mudarris. Talibi Maksurun. Something is broken of student. Kalamut Talibi Maksurun. The pain of the student is broken. Very good, brother. Something is open. Babul Masji D. Maftuhun. Okay, brother. Kharaja al mudarrisu min gurfatil mudiri. Gurfatil mudiri. You know, kharaja al mudarrisu min gurfatil mudiri. What is kharaja? Fial madi. And what is al mudarrisu? Fail. Huh? Fine. Number six. Correct the following sentence. Okay, brother? They are, they, are, uh, they are not properly done. See, what is wrong with the first sentence? Al-Kalamu Talibi. Kalamu Talibi. Because Mudav cannot have Al. So it will be, are you with me, brother Farooq? Kalamu Talibi. Inshallah. Very good, brother. Now here it is, Babu Sayaratu. It has to be Sayarati. Mudav is always... Majroor. Are you with me? Brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. Very good. Bintu Hamidun. Bintu Hamidun. See? See, now your mind is working. Eh? And you are able to identify Mudaf, Mudaf Ali properly. Inshallah. Huh? Okay. Ar Rasulullah. No Al Brother. Rasulullah. Not Ar Rasul. Rasulullah. Very good. Ismul Walada. Ismul Waladi. Ismul Waladi. Huh? Name. Ibn Nun al Mudarrisi. Ibn Nu, because Mudaf cannot even have Tanween. It has to be one Dhamma. Okay, fine. You got the idea? Now, brother, something here. Muhammadun Ya Muhammadu. So when you put Harfu Nida, what is Ya? Harfu Nida. Uh, harf means particle of calling. Huh? Okay? Then Muhammadun will become Muhammadu. Okay? Are you with me? Ustadun will become Ya Ustadu. Khalidun will become Ya Khalidu. Waladun will become Ya Waladu. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, Ikra, read and write with proper vowel signs at the end. Okay? What will be the first? Ya Ali, you. Very good. Ya Abba Sul. Next one. Shaykhun. Shaykhun. Tanween. Ya Ya Shaykhu. Now Ya Rajulu. Ya Si Run. Ya Amma Ru. Very good. Duktu Run. And Ya Duktu Ru. Very good, brother. Okay. Now see here. Kitabu Man Haza. Whose book is this? Brother, this is question we don't analyze. But circle kitabu man. Circle kitabu man with pencil. Mudah mudafili. You got the idea? Mudah mudafili. Very good. Okay. So what will be the next one? On the same pattern we are making sentences. Kalamu man haza. Okay. What is the next one? Kamithu man haza. Huh? What will be the next one? Baitu Manhaza. And next one? Sariru Manha. Tell me, brother, isn't this all Halwa Puri? <laughs> Definitely. It's all Halwa Puri, brother. Now, next one, brother. He's going to explain, doctor is going to explain us about what is Hamdatul Vasal. Okay, read the Ismun. Read the first. What will you say? Ismul Waladi. Muhammadun and then 
Wasmul binti Zainabu. Are you with me? Did you get it? Okay. I'm not analyzing. We analyze enough. No. Next line, brother. Ismul mudarrisi Hamidun. And then? Masmu. How will you pronounce? Masmul mudarri. What is the name of the headmaster? Masmul mudiri. Where is mudah mudafilai? Ismul mudiri. Ismul mudiri became Masmul Mudiri. Why? Because Hamza of Ism is Hamzatul Wasal. Very good. Next one, Ibnun. Ibnu Khali Din Fil Madrasati Wabnu Hami Din Fil Jamiati. Correct, brothers? Are you, are you comfortable, everybody? MashaAllah. Ibnul Mudarrisi Fil Fasli. Fil Fasli. Well, how will you pronounce the next one? Ainabnu. Ainabnu. Ainabnu Mudiri. Where is the son of the headmaster? Ainabnu Mudiri. Very good. Huh? We are going like VRL now. <laughs> Ikrama Yali. Now, brothers and sisters, this is the exercise for Hamdatul Wasal. Huh? Okay. You should follow the rules of the pronunciation of Hamzatul uh, Wasal. Okay, keeping in mind uh, using the uh, rules of the Hamzatul Wasal. What will be the first pronunciation? Ibn Muhammad, then Phil. Wrong place to go now. Phil huh? Iraq. I said wrong place to go. <laughs> Okay, what will be the next month? Wabnu Hamidin. Do you realize, brother, you are reading without vowel signs and you are reading correctly? Alhamdulillah. You should be treated. Huh? Maybe we'll treat you with pizza someday. <laughs> okay, next one. Kharajab Tabi B Minal Baiti. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla verbal sentence. Wait, what is Kharaja Ibn Tabibi? Where is the file? Kharaja is? Kharaja is fail. Where is the file? Only Ibn, because file is Marfu. So Ibn is Marfu. Tabibi is Majroor. So it is Mudafili. How will you pronounce? Kharajabnu. What will you pronounce? Kharajabnu Tabibi. Kharajabnut Tabibi Minal Baiti means the son of doctor came out of the house. Left from the house. Okay. Next one, brother. Zahaba Ibn Tajari Ila Suki. How will you pronounce now? Zahababnu. Zahababnut Tajari. Zahababnut Tajari. Zahaba is a fiel. Where is the file? Ibn only. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafili. Very good. Next one, brother. Ismul muhandisi faisalun. Wasmut tabibi mas'udun. What is the next one? Masmur rajuli. Ibn man anta? Ana. Anabnul mudiri. Okay, brothers and sisters. I was going a little fast. But this is the page we will read tomorrow again, slowly, and then we will, we will go to the next lesson. Now, let me tell you, next lesson is all Halwa Puri. It's very easy, very easy. Try to read it today at home, and try to figure out, Mudaf Mudaf Ilahi Jar Majroor. See on your own if you can figure out Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Failia. And if you figure out Jumla Ismiya, figure out Mubtada. If you see Jumla failure, figure out fiel and file. Rabbana atina fi dunya asanatau, wa fi la akhirati asanatau, wa kina adabanna. Rabbana hablana min azwajina, wa zuriatina kurrata ayunin, wa jialna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana la tuakhizna in nasina au akhtana. 
ربنا ولا تحمل علينا اسرا كما حملته ولا الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقه لنا به وافعنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا ويل سي يو تومورو ان شاء الله